in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the best productivity app for your iPad. This one here is called Shift Screen and it's gonna completely change the way you use your iPad. Now, normally on an iPad, you can plug it into a monitor, you can plug it into a display, but it's gonna only mirror it. But with this application, you can now have multiple windows on that monitor while your iPad has a separate display. So now keep in mind, this is a $5 application, but it is worth every single penny. So putting my iPad aside, I have this monitor. This is my portable monitor. I use it for my MacBook Pro to increase screen real estate. It's super duper light and it is super duper thin. It's a full 1080p display. It provides type C connection, which I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. You can uh, have multiple devices connected to it. So you can plug in your PS4 and whatever the case may be. So this is how the screen look like. You guys can see how thin it is. Very, very light. I can hold it with one hand with no problem. You get all of that for $187, pretty much $200. Without further ado, let's just connect it onto my iPad Pro and just show you guys how this work. So you guys can see, to put it back, everything is using magnets on the back. And you just attach it just like so. Now one of the things I absolutely love about the iPad Pro is just the fact how it has USB Type-C. So all I gotta do is plug in the Type-C on my iPad Pro and I could just plug it directly into the monitor. All the power is coming from the iPad Pro's battery and it's automatically gonna turn on the monitor and it's gonna automatically boot it up into my iPad just like so. Let me increase the brightness. So normally on iPad OS, everything is exactly like a mirror. So it just mirrors the display, but you don't want that. You wanna be able to have multiple apps, but you want them on separate displays. So with this app shift screen, you're gonna definitely accomplish that. So as you guys can see, you have the complete display here. So whatever monitor you got, it's gonna take up the entire display. So no more black bars whatsoever. You have a mouse cursor. So I could type in youtube.com. It's gonna take me to YouTube. You can scroll up and down using two fingers. You can tap, you just tap once if you wanna go into a video. Um, so let's see what Mr. Beast is doing. And you're gonna have uh, audio too. Well, there should be audio. There we go. I have the little ringer icon there. And you can watch your YouTube videos. So yeah, really cool stuff. And you have full screen, full screen works just fine. And it's gonna take up the entire display. Like this is fantastic guys. And you can go up and down, scroll up and down, read the comments. So this is really turning your iPad into a full blown desktop. And of course, as you know, iPad OS supports trackpad, mouse, and of course keyboard. So that's gonna work with this app too as well. And to really put the cherry on top, you can have multiple windows. You can create a new window. You can close a window. You have your bookmarks. So I'm gonna create a new window. And you have a website that you can pick or you can have a document that you can choose from your files or you can have a integrated app. So as you guys can see, the photos, Apple Photos, um, iCloud supported. You have even the Google Docs, Google Spread. You have um, the Microsoft uh, Suite 360. And you can even browse all just like that too. So all the applications, they are supported. You can open up a document everything from your files here or let's say you want to go to a different website so as you guys can see off rip you see google.com let's go to instagram and of course i can log in now at any time if you want to fill something out like a form you will have to tap on the little mouse icon it's going to mirror it and then you just tap on it and you can type it in i have my keyboard connected so that's why you don't see a keyboard so yeah everything works just fine you have the full blown dedicated computer set up on your ipad and it doesn't stop there you can even add more windows now you will have to look down on your ipad screen to see what window you add in i want to add another website so look boom i can add another window on on the side there i have all four windows open to the internet but let's say for your iPad, you want to run something else. Maybe on the side, you want to run, I don't know, something else. So you can still have, for example, you can have the Files app. Oops, I didn't want to do that. So for example, you can have the Files app on the side and you still have this going on the same time. So look at this, we got music, we got files, and we got four windows to the internet open. Now keep in mind, as soon as you leave the app, Everything is going to go right back to normal. When you launch it back up, it should go right back into place. I got my Instagram here. I got my Twitter here. See what's going on Playboy Guardi. 
And of course, I can use my mouse too at any time. Look, this is what's going on in my background on my slide over, but I still have this going on in the background. Even if I'm interacting with my iPad, I can still watch a YouTube video. I can see what's going on on Twitter. Or for example, I know YouTube got rid of the sub count, but you can see a subscriber count somewhere and you can have YouTube going on in the background. So this is just another step forward on um, the iPad becoming a computer or just making your iPad as a replacement in general. The maximum window limit is four. So let me see, you can even open windows in Safari. You can open up the desktop application. And then here you have the mirror mode and you have like the interact touch mode here. So yeah, very, very simple to use. And then this is your main button right here. So this is to get up to this window. So if you wanna close a window, you have it just like this. So you can see which window here to close. So it goes from one through four right here. So let's say I wanna close out window uh, three. I can just tap on that. I wanna close out window two. And everything now is gonna be side by side. And I'm gonna close that too. And then of course, if you have any web app or if you have any requests, you can email the developers and you can request in that application just like that. And hopefully it'll be there. It's just a ghetto setup, quote unquote. I am getting a desk setup video uh, together soon. So make sure you guys subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on and drop a like on this video. Help me out a bunch. And yeah, shift screen, totally recommend it. Highly recommend it. I'll throw a link in the description. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.